Contact. We have contact on the mountain. Proceeding to engage target with this here vehicle of the air. Oh, steady. Ooh! Ooh, that was close. Well, it's been a while, man. That's my excuse. <laughs> Never mind, we're going back for a second pass. Get Long Tall Sally ready. This is it now. <laughs> yes! Oh man, it's been a while since I've been on the battlefield, but god damn, I'm in the gentleman's D-bag club, whatever this server is that I've joined. And I gotta say, man, I just missed a good old battlefield game, I gotta be honest. I, 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 I felt the urge, I need the, I felt the need for speed, boy, I just felt the need to find me a sniper and D-bag him or just road killing with a plane. I had a, like a scene stuck in my head for a few days now. It's in a movie, somebody has to remember this, I just cannot remember the name of the movie. It's basically like a black SUV that sort of goes jumping through the air and there's a guy on a bike and the wheel just hits his head and he's like in slow motion. I've been trying on, even on Discord to try and find out what that movie is called but no, I just can't remember it. It just stuck in my head so I thought, yeah, I'm gonna go to Battlefield and I could do that. But before we push on, you don't leave a man in the sea. I don't know what he was doing there. He's probably training for swimming the channel or something. But we don't leave no man behind. We'll pick him up. Maybe he had some sort of sniper that he saw at one point. Maybe he was trying to do something. But I think that didn't really work out in his favor. So picked him up. He's good now. Back to the objective. And I think we do have somebody around here since we've captured him. But maybe he's below. Can't see him. Although it, it's been. Oh, there we go. Sniperino. My aim is atrocious, bro. There you go. That's 75 points for doing nothing. That's good. Man, it's been a while since I played some Battlefield, but I gotta say, I mean, playing Battlefield 5 just never really felt. You know what I mean? Like it did when you played Battlefield 3, Battlefield Bad Company, Battlefield or whatever when you played the DLCs the Vietnams and all that it just never really felt hold on we have a situation here it just never really felt the right way if you know what I mean it just felt weird and it felt complicated I'm just gonna say that then uh, when the Autobots are back in yes yes you are seeing an Autobot on my on my little bird because that's I always rolled with an Autobot symbol or I had Captain America on it as well but the Autobot symbol just looks a little bit better mind you it's I think it's due man I, I do need to go back to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 and get some Trollolo done man it's been such a long time since I've done that and I, I just sort of miss it I did try a little bit in Battlefield 5 it just it's not the same it just isn't the same I don't know it feels weird I mean I can't really say exactly how long it's been, but it's definitely been years since I played Battlefield 4. Like, really played it. Maybe I started a game or tried something or needed something out of the game or a screenshot or whatever, then possibly yes, but actually really playing the game. God damn, it's been years, I think. Although I'm pleased to say that there are plenty of servers still in the game. Obviously, you're not going to find full servers on every single map. Uh, there was... A tracker years ago it was called Battlefield Tracker Population Status Something, and it just doesn't work for me anymore. I don't know if they turned it off or not, but I was kind of looking forward to see what the population is still on Battlefield 4. I couldn't really give you a specific number because I don't know, but I would say there is a few sort of handful of servers here and there, so you'll still be able to jump into a couple of matches here and there. Although not every single time. I mean, this is the weekend, and this is, what, Saturday night for me, so early Saturday in the US. So, there is a couple that you can still sort of play the game a little bit on. Mind you, there might be certain dedicated servers that I've not seen with my filters. I don't really have any filters here. I've just got the Conquest Large and Conquest Small, 64, and then that's it. And just a couple of maps that I wanted, but 
it just feels right you're not playing this even though it feels sort of it feels right but it feels weird at the same time it feels weird just because it's it's not got the same pace you know the pace is different the running is different you just have to get used to everything after all this time but that still does not make it cool it still makes it fun i mean hopping in i'm seeing a little sort of skip in here i'm thinking this is some sort of rubber banding that used to be an issue in Battlefield 4, but <clears throat> I was kind of hoping it's gone by now. I'm still rubber banding, even though this is a bit of... I think this was 60 hertz. I kind of tend to stay away. There's a lot of 30 hertz people that just got the servers. They're a little bit cheaper to sort of get into. I did sort of stay away from the 30 hertz ones, because we all know that Battlefield, when he started, it was not the best. So trying to get into at least, say, 45 hertz or 60, that'd be even better because the tick rate does make a huge difference. And especially since I've not been up in the sky in such a long time, I kind of don't know how things work anymore, if there's still people pouring the AAs and sitting there and just laser designating targets and things like that. I mean, if that was still the case, I remember playing, well, 80% of the matches that I played Honest to God, when I finished that session of a couple of hours playing, all I heard was peep, 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 That's all I heard from the fucking things trying to lock you down. There was just so many things, man. I don't know how we put up with it, to, to be honest, now. Come to think of it, how did we put up with all those BP stuff? I mean, there's so many things trying to kill you when you're flying. It's just unreal, but I guess we did, man. I mean, when, when something comes out and you, you just love the game and... You're having fun and all your buddies are playing it because I remember when Battlefield 4 came out that there was just nobody playing anything else. It didn't really matter if there were other games out there. Sure, we still played a little Battlefield, Battlefield 3 here and there, but 99% of the friends I knew and I had on Origin, nobody played anything else but Battlefield. And it's so weird now to see like there's nobody playing any of the new games it, it just it, it's weird it's i think it's just one of those things that you always come back to these times as really great times that you had fun and your friends and you, you turned up to do all sorts of weird stuff on the battlefield which was pretty cool and that's always going to be with me that's always going to be good memory so I, I think in order for me to to honor this right <clears throat> I think I might have to go play a little bit. We'll do some trolling, we'll get a couple of matches going, we'll PTFO like a boss because there is a couple of people that like to PTFO. I myself like to PTFO from a distance a little bit where the enemy sniper is or somebody out of the way, but uh, we will make an effort to uh, PTFO if we need to. I think it's needed. Uh, ping's not too bad. I'm thinking I'm rubber banding here, but ping's not bad. So I think it's uh, it's it's good to say that I need to go back into Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3 and sort of play a little bit more, get a couple of matches going, some funny stuff, some cool stuff, some trolling. I think we need to bring that back a little bit just to, just to remind ourselves that it's not all doom and gloom, man. It is good. While sort of the latest games might not be what we wished for and what we wanted, it's not all doom and gloom, boy. It's still here. So we're just going to have to play a couple of matches and... Uh, Bring some of the magic back. Bring some of that fun back. Although Battlefield 5 has the Royale, the Battle Royale coming up in March at some point. Don't know exactly when, but goddamn, this is uh, this is a good old memories, man. So uh, it's only six tickets left, unfortunately, and I'm not going to do much in this here little bird. But I haven't died, so that's not bad considering I've not been back for a while. We'll try and do better next time. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video here. Look out for more. And I'll see you in the next one.